Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I'm going to bring you guys my must-have and favourite creator sim items. So a ton of people have asked me to do a video like this. I've got a ton of people saying, you know, what are your favorite? What are your favorite presets? What are your favorite <laughs> skin details? What are your must-haves? So I thought I'd make this video today showing you guys all of my favorite has items. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lorena. I do Million Sims 4 content like Let's Plays and Creator Sims. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family. And without further ado, let's hop in to today's video. So per usual, everything will be linked in the comment section. So if you'd like to pick up any of these cute items, you can. So I think we're going to be starting off with the presets today. So the first thing I want to talk about is this huge preset so if you guys can see right here, I seem to be scrolling forever. Like, look at all these lips. You're probably wondering, you know, how did you get this many lips into your game? And it's not just the lips. We got loads and loads of noses. <laughs> right look look at all those noses <laughs> we got loads of ears loads of uh, cheeks loads of jaws loads of chins loads of eyes there's just so many options you're probably wondering you know Lorena how did you get this many in your game well this is I'm not sure who made this mod or this custom content pack so I do apologize but there is a, I guess this a set a custom content pack mod whatever you want to call it where it basically adds hundreds as you guys just saw of presets to your game and if you're someone like me who struggles to create unique sims sometimes this is such a must-have because if you look at all this variation imagine how many unique sims you can create and of course like it doesn't just come in eyes as i said a second ago as so you guys saw it comes with cheeks jaws chins lips ears even <laughs> even we also actually do have some body body ones as well so if we go down here look at all these hold on though that's the skin tones <laughs> look at all these uh, body presets like imagine how many unique sims you can create so this is pack or pack i'm just gonna call it the, a pack but this pack is definitely a huge i guess must have for me because as i said i do struggle with creating unique sims sometimes and the better thing is lots of these presets they actually really do suit the game as well because if you actually scroll up here i'm planning on removing lots of these presets since i don't use them anymore but these they do stand out you can tell their custom content but with these ones if you're someone like me you prefer very very max as much stuff these really do look like they could be part of the game which makes it even better and yeah so if you guys want a variation and hundreds of new presets to create unique sims i would recommend this big pack and it's 100 percent a must-have for me i literally couldn't like live without this pack it's probably like the biggest essential in my game <laughs> And yeah, that is everything I actually have for presets today. And uh, people are probably wondering, you know, Lorena, you have so many presets so up here. Aren't any of these your must-haves? I just, I don't use them as much as of late. And they're not really a must-have anymore. And I'm planning on going on a preset purge pretty soon. Hence why these aren't included. But now I actually want to move on to the skin details. Once again, this won't be a huge list since I should tell. I don't have a lot of skin details. But uh, the first skin detail I want to talk about is these eye bags by Tamo Sims. These are really, really cute. I feel like such a weirdo talking about like how cute eye bags are whatever <laughs> so these basically just make your sense look a lot more cutesy a lot more realistic a lot more again unique um you know, different you know they, they stand out more it adds to them and yeah these eye bags just really nice once again they don't like stand out too much they fit into the game quite perfectly and i think they just look really really nice and these are definitely an essential in my game and definitely a favorite too and right now, when it comes to freckles, right now, my mainly one of my must-have right here are these, I guess, moles by Wildly Miniature Sandwich. These are really cute, to be honest. They're very subtle moles, and they definitely do fit in with the game a lot. And I think they're just really, really, really nice, and I do use these quite a lot. And when it comes to freckles, I really like these freckles right here by Glossary. I think that's the name of the person. Now, to be honest, I don't use these as much as I used to, mainly because they don't stand... I mean, they stand out, like, a little bit too much. I'm very, very picky, and these do look very, as you guys can tell, very, like, CC-like. But they are still very, very max as match, and I do use them on occasion because they are stunning. If you guys are new here... <laughs> let me just tell you that i'm obsessed with freckles i really wish i had freckles i think freckles are stunning and as i always say the more freckles
freckles, the better. So <laughs> I love my freckles. And these are definitely a favorite. I do actually want to start using them more. I love how they look. And as I said, they are 100% a favorite for sure and definitely a must have. And those are all my skin details I have to show you guys today. Or like, you know, my favorites. And you're probably wondering, you know, Lorena, why don't you show more? There's, there's quite a bit here. The others, they just aren't really essentials for me. And now I actually want to actually take you guys in to some of my eyebrows. Now I will be getting into a second into defaults, like my default skin and my default eyes, since that is one of the most like requested things people ask me. <laughs> but but first we're gonna quickly hop into the eyebrows. So basically with the eyebrows, I have not a lot, but I do have a couple. Now my my most essential eyebrows that I need though, it is Large Large Pack by Praline Sims, which basically adds, I'm not gonna count, but around maybe 10 10 maxes match eyebrows to your game and as i said it's basically just a huge eyebrow pack and this is like such an essential for me because i don't know i feel like the game lacks unique eyebrows so <laughs> i feel like this pack is great it's very maxes match it really fits into the game and i don't know i think uh Prelia and sims just did an amazing job with this and i really love all of these eyebrows this big eyebrow pack here probably with like 10 plus maybe 20 brows is definitely a must have like look how cute these i love these ones here like how they're kind of bit fluffy very adorable and again this this i guess big um eyebrow set is definitely a must-have and a favorite for me so now i want to talk about the other category of the video when i say other i mean you know my lashes my um just other <laughs> i couldn't find a better word to i guess explain it but one of my actual favorites are these eye highlights or these eye catch lights these eye glimmers whatever you want to call them by pyxis so these are oh my god are like so <laughs> amazing these can help you make so much more unique sims like they're so pretty and as i said like you can make your sims's eyes look a lot different too like as you can tell the eye default i have is looking like a complete different eye default with every one week like, it looks different and it just adds that shine adds that uniqueness and your sims can all have like a little different glimmer in that eye and it can just make your sims look all different to each other and i use this eye highlight in almost all of my sims like 99 0.9 percent of my sims use these because they're just so pretty and i think they just add to it and i love these the vi vitiligo 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 <laughs> i'm sorry i can't say stuff um but these are by aoshi as i am aware of if not i do apologize but these are very very cute so once again i think this just can help you make so much more unique sims so much more realistic sims because people have birthmarks like these and i think they just add to like i said they, they add to the realism and they add to the uniqueness and they are stunning too and i love this one right here it's definitely my favorite once again we have quite a lot of options here which i love and then we also actually have a version for the face and as i said it can just make your sims look so much more unique and again realistic this is normal and i think you know your sims can just look stunning too so I completely love this and it's definitely, I guess, definitely an essential for me and definitely a favorite for me in my game. And the next thing I want to talk about today are these scars by Aoshi. I'm pretty sure these are by Aoshi too. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but the, ooh, I love these so much. As I said, scars, they're realistic. People have them. They're normal and you can make so much more, you know, as I said, realistic, <laughs> unique sims. I need to stop saying realistic and unique. It's like the, the main keyword today, isn't it? <laughs> um but yeah you can make so much more cute sims with these and as i said i think scars are really beautiful i think scars are really really beautiful as it, it kind of just adds to it you know as i said people have scars it's normal and i love that with this custom content we can now represent this in our game and they look i think they look really pretty as well so yeah this is definitely another one of my favorites and one of my must-haves <laughs> if i actually go to accessories or skin details you can find these lashes in either accessories or skin details i want to talk about the the two ashes ashes <laughs> lashes the two eyelashes that i use that one is by picky pikachu so i'm actually actually going to quickly show you guys another essential for me <laughs> is uh this uh ea remove eyelashes by kajiko it's a skin detail there we go it's gone the ugly ea chunky lashes are gone so now we can see the other lashes in their full glory so i first of all want to talk about these lashes by picky pikachu so these as you guys can tell are very 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 max 
this match and really do fit into the game now i know this is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea because i know some people really prefer the more fluffy lashes but at least for me i really love these i love how they look they're a really big edit of the ea lashes and i think as i said i really like the really max match look that they have and i'm pretty sure you can also get another version which is less i guess uh i can't explain it but it's more i guess similar to the ea ones also this one is more i guess a bit bit changed a little bit differently these are still in beta so they may have a couple of glitches and they may not work 100 percent properly but they're still really cute and they do make my sims look a lot better and i now want to talk about the kajiko lashes which i've been using literally since the dawn of time <laughs> i love these lashes so much they're so pretty but i don't use the i guess a uh, big option as much as i used to now i kind of just use these ones right here the more kind of smaller lashes since i feel like they suit my sims a lot more but uh yeah these i think most people in the sims community know about these lashes they just make your sims look like so stunning like look how stunning she looks already just with these lashes like anywho <laughs> so yeah these kajika lashes are definitely a must have and actually if we pair the kajika lashes with the picky pikachu lashes in my opinion this is what i do quite often now i know some people are going to be like you know what's the point you know in doing this there's no point but i think it's pretty cool and i also sometimes like to you know remove the upper eyelash and just keep the bottom eyelash with the kajika lashes so it's like a nice mix and people do ask me quite often you know how do you get your simpsons eyelashes looking like that and it's usually because i pair these two together and just kind of see what works and i really like the style that i've got going currently with the lashes i know some people are going to say you know it's ugly it doesn't match together but as i said everyone's got their own crazy style and this is at least what i do now for the last thing to look at in i guess the quote-unquote other <laughs> category is the teeth now it's a long-running joke on my channel that i have <laughs> more teeth than hairs more, more, custom, more custom content teeth than custom content hairs <laughs> in my game but these are basically more my teeth so i'm only going to show my of course must-haves today so i won't be linking all of these but there is this big teeth set by light deficient like oh, 20 plus teeth i think <laughs> maybe less maybe i'm like over exaggerating i'm not sure though can't be bothered to count <laughs> quite quite a lot you guys can see here this with a little light deficient in the white text thing <laughs> these are all in the same pack together so let me just quickly go through all of them these like such a must-have with creating uh unique sims and with making my sims look different and i don't know i think i think just having an extra set of unique teeth can really give your sims that realism you know not everyone if we go to some of the i guess ea Mac max's teeth <laughs> we have the, you know this one of them here not everyone has completely straight teeth like this and even you know they got this right here like not everyone has like the perfect you know what i mean it's not very realistic and you've got that gap but you know every like not everyone's gonna have these straight teeth and i feel like the good thing is with these this teeth big teeth pack you know not every gap is big this one's just got a little gap and then we've also got this right here with the you know it just it makes your sense look so more realistic and i personally like love teeth like this i think they're so adorable i think they just help you create so much more unique sims and i don't know i love this teeth pack i sound like a madman <laughs> i sound like a mad person <laughs> i sound insane saying how much i love a teeth pack but you know oh well but i do want to talk about this one makeup set so this is by ocean sims and urban sims and they basically did a little collab and they made this stunning makeup set which is now a huge essential in my game so this set comes with five things it comes with this lovely lovely eyeshadow here which oh is so pretty it's so pretty like look at that it's so natural so light but at the same time just does a great deal and of course this also came with an eyeliner here which the eyeliner again very natural but still does a lot very very pretty uh here are some of the op oh, gosh no we've got one option we've got one option it's fine it's just an eyeliner <laughs> um but yeah you guys see the swatches here a little bit and then we also have a blush here which is honestly so pretty like look at that again here are the swatches i'm gonna go through all the swatches but still and you get these two stunning lipsticks so this is the first one it's actually beautiful like <laughs> i love this. like look at that mm, it just makes your son's lips look so full and so pretty and it looks so smooth and so again really really gorgeous and then they've also got this other option here which is a uh, little bit of a gloss so of course we do have the the non-gloss i know nothing about makeup i know nothing about makeup <laughs> version here as you guys can tell but we've also got the shiny glossy version of that i guess swatch so oh i love that honestly i live i live for this lip gloss like you can see half of my sims have this stunning lip gloss like i live for it i love the shine i love how it looks like mm, it looks so pretty i love it okay anywho <laughs> so yeah that is definitely a must-have when it comes to my makeup 
Now, last but not the least, I want to actually talk about my defaults. So I get asked all the time, you know, what defaults do you use? What's the default skin? What's the default? <laughs> What's the default eyes? Um, and you know what? What? What's those skin tones you use? Uh, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. Once again, link them to. <laughs> this is gonna be the last portion of the video. The defaults. So, I first of all want to talk about my default skin. So, I use the Water Lilies default skin. I forgot who made it, so I do apologize. But it's called the Water Lilies default skin, and it is honestly such a pretty default skin. I went through a ton of default skins to have to find this perfect one. You know, I think it is perfect for my game. Again, right now, Yasmin. In my opinion, she looks completely stunning, right? No, she has no skin blend on, no skin overlay, nothing, just the default skin. And it really kind of smooths out your Sims skin a lot. Like, as you guys can tell here, we've got a bit of a collarbone. Um, it kind of, you know, does a little bit to the body, which is really cute. Again, if we look at the nose, it adds a little bit of an eye bag. It kind of makes the skin just look so much more smooth and just kind of gives it that look. And it's, it's so subtle, but not subtle at the same time. I think it's just completely perfect effect and it's also like completely like i love it i love it i love it <laughs> so uh yeah that's my default skin that i'm probably going to be using for a very very long time next is the default eye that i use so to show you guys the default eye i'm pretty sure just going to take off the eye catch light since i want to show you guys it in all its glory <laughs> without the eye catch light but the eye that i use is the beetle eyes by squeamish sims these eyes are so stunning so if we go that's like this this blue here or this i don't know this color here we go we zoom in a little bit <laughs> these eyes are so so pretty like oh look at them aren't they beautiful like i get people ask me all the time what eyes i use and for a good reason these eyes are completely beautiful and they just mm, they just come with so many nice swatches too and some people may say you know as like you know if you don't want to use very very max as much stuff these are kind of stepping over the boundaries but i think they're a perfect mix you know they're not like like really 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 custom content like if that makes any sense but they're not also super duper vanilla ish like and they're just a perfect mix i think they just suit all my sims i think you know they just add to my creatism style and they're like such an essential and they're my default and i just i couldn't live without them i think they're stunning like i've never i've gone through quite a lot of default eyes with my time playing the sims 4 and i've never found default eyes and i was happy as than i am with these <laughs> these are just so stunning and i think that is all my actually no my skin tone my skin tones so right now I actually use these skin tones by Lamities, the Bear skin tones. These have actually are now working, but you can't use the slider though. As you guys can tell, you can't you can't uh, use the slider here. It's quite broken, so there's no use trying to use the slider. But these still work and. Oh, they are so pretty. I love these. I had these in my game before the skin tone update and I decided to keep them in my game because they're, they're really pretty. And again, it's just an extra selection of skin tones. These are the, as I said, the bare skin tones by Lamities. And that is everything. So that is all my essentials. Like I said, I didn't do the hairs or the clothes because I don't really, I like, I remove them every once a week and, you know, I don't really have essentials when it comes to that. But I hope you guys maybe found some new CC for your game today anyone who's like wondering you know you know what my favorite if you let's say saw in my videos maybe i used a certain thing hopefully now you have the link to it as i always say if you saw anything um that i kind of didn't showcase and you're kind of wondering you know hey i kind of want that in my game just go ahead and ask for the link in the comment section i'll try my best to find it so yeah if you ever saw anything that you kind of want the link for just go ahead and ask in the comment section and yeah tell me what you guys think of all my favorites and essentials if these ever update right now i'm really happy and content where i am with my mods folder but if these ever do update i will do an updated video on it because i've had like a ton of videos like these out in the past showcasing my favorites but of course my cc tastes they changed quite often <laughs> lots of people do actually find my channel through these custom content and mods videos so if of course this is your first time ever watching my channel please go ahead and subscribe to join the plum family or a very lovely little family and we'd really love to have you you know as i said at the start i post creator sims if you're interested in creator sims i also post let's plays my let's plays are filled with drama filled with storylines <laughs> they're, they're very entertaining or at least in my opinion i find my let's plays really 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 fun so if you're looking for some fun drama filled you know that kind of thing with let's plays i would also recommend taking a look at some of those too and as i said a little bit of a shameless self promo there but as i said if you, if you 
be i bet you find that our family is very very lovely and as i said we'd love to have you so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye a quick thank you to all of the channel members thank you ace Kristen, plumberry rosie crystal exton mckenna robin ivy louise melody esme ostro cookie monster and naomi oni i really do appreciate it